Hi, I'm Dolan, and uh, today we're continuing with the Chatmo adapters. This is everyone's favorite topic at the moment, and um, I've got some updates regarding these um, uh, Chinese adapters. And the user feedback has started to drop in. I've been following along a few uh, topics on Facebook, and here we have one from the Nissan ENV200 electric van owners. And uh, there's a user here with the name that has one of these and he has tested this and uh, come to the conclusion that it failed to charge and that the data has been sent back to the uh, manufacturer and this is very interesting and um, mm, I got also another uh, video from uh, another customer that we're gonna take a quick look at so here we have first um, a video that was sent to them by the manufacturer, uh, just some general usage. Here we see them uh, plugging it in into a simulator. Keep in mind these devices, uh, a lot of f f feedback that they got uh, was from the manufacturer was that uh, the device has only been tested with simulators. So now that we are starting to see the feedback from Leaf owners and from ENV200 owners, uh, it unfortunately doesn't work right away, but the manufacturer has promised to look into it and uh, how how they can sell a product that has only been tested on simulators, um, I find that a bit strange. Um, but yeah, let's hope that they can resolve it. And uh, I also have another video from the manufacturer where we can actually take a look at uh, the insides of this one, because this is something that I've been really looking forward to seeing. So this was a video that was sent back uh, to a customer that complained that it did not work and they were advised to install a resistor onto the board to make it uh, function better. But already here, before we get too deep into the unit, I'm just going to try to pause here on a freeze frame where it's quite uh, not so blurry. We can see here that uh, the device uh, contains a contactor, that's the big part right here. And uh, in my previous video, I was a bit hesitant on this, um, how can they fit uh, the contactors required here. But actually, uh, they have only fitted a contactor for one side. So you can see here that it's only uh, one of these boards that uh, seem to be actually connected to the contactor. So here they are removing the bus bars uh, that go here. And having only one contactor, uh, I mean, Technically it works, but it is a bit of a violation here, uh, charging standards, etc. Uh, that basically means that one of the high voltage leads is connected directly uh, all the time and there is no like separation when it's turned off. So <clears throat> uh, not, not really that great, but uh, it could be worse. And we also see some interesting stuff here. Uh, there's a USB-C port here attached on the device where you can uh, probably uh, connect to it to get some diagnostic info out of it, update the software, etc. But here uh, they're actually showing the, the resistor that they were advised to add uh, to the board to make it function better. But if we skip ahead here, uh, we can look some other interesting stuff. So actually this one contains a battery, or so I've been told also. So you charge it via the USB-C port. And... Um, Okay, it's it's a bit annoying, like I mentioned, to get this CCS Chademo adapter working because you don't have 12 volt access uh, all the time. So I guess it depends also on the vehicle that's being charged. But yeah, no no 12 volt available, so battery is what you're gonna have. And uh, well, also from looking at this, um, seems to be some 3D printed parts here, um, but also some nice, um, I think it's injection molding plastic in some places. So it's not overly terrible. I think this is actually kind of good, but at the same time, it's so small. Um, I'm not sure. I feel like this is violating something by being by being this small. But um, yeah, I really hope that uh, the manufacturer can get this uh, to work. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing more uh, user feedback on this. But again, it's really small. Uh, very expensive and at the moment it's not working yet but let's see in a few days maybe they can update the software and uh, get these ones going I 
I'm very excited to follow this along because if someone can actually make an adapter that's uh, kind of affordable and still like uh, available, uh, mass production, nice, very nice. I think uh, I would buy one. I would definitely want to try one. But uh, for now, I think I will wait until the apparent beta testing has completed by all the customers. So yeah, hope you liked this quick update video and I will be making another update video as soon as someone successfully charges with this one. So yeah, stay tuned.